Hello from the National Weather Service in Missoula. This is Travis Booth and I'm here with your Tuesday fire weather briefing for August 7th. We'll start with kind of a basic overview. Uh, this graphic here shows 500 millibar heights in the yellow line, so kind of a, a mid-level height field. And then also it shows the mid and upper level moisture in the color fill. So the reds and yellows are representing a drier humidity levels and those mid and upper levels and then the cooler colors indicate higher moisture. So as we get back to the beginning of the loop you can see we have a ridge of high pressure building over the area and it expands northward and we generally have very limited moisture. So expect those hotter temperatures, relatively light winds and low afternoon RH. Thermal belts will also be common leading to some limited RH recovery on the slopes. By Friday into Saturday a trough off the Pacific Coast pushes into the ridge and across the area and this breaks down the ridge. With this breakdown of the ridge we're expecting an increase in westerly winds. Humidities will continue to stay quite low. At this point it still looks to remain mostly dry although an isolated shower or thunderstorm is certainly possible with some mid-level moisture that moves in. So our main concerns are the, the hot dry conditions through Friday followed by that increase in winds while it remains dry uh, late Friday into Saturday. So we're just going to kind of step through expected high temperatures today being Tuesday through Saturday in the animation. We're going to start off with temperatures today into Wednesday being seasonable or slightly above normal. And we're going to just trend warmer to near record values for uh, Thursday and into Friday. Then we have a weak cold front that brings temperatures back to more seasonable levels over the coming weekend. Corresponding uh, minimum RH values for each afternoon are going to loop through now for that, that same period today through Saturday. The main takeaway, as you'll see, is that those values remain quite low throughout the entire period with teens in most places. There's some subtle improvements likely on Saturday as some of the cooler air comes in, but that'll be mostly focused in northwest Montana and north central Idaho. As far as winds with that ridge breakdown, uh, late Friday into Friday evening, we're forecasting westerly winds to pick up to 15 to 20 miles an hour for, for many areas. So we definitely have some uh, concerns for critical fire weather conditions for many locations late Friday leading into Saturday. Speaking of Saturday, some of the Saturday forecast winds are, are seen here. They're slightly stronger compared to Friday across western Montana, while they're actually uh, lighter across north central Idaho uh, compared to Friday. So we'll kind of step back and look at the big picture a bit with this fire weather threat matrix. So for Wednesday and Thursday, we're just our concerns, of course, are the warm, dry conditions. Like I mentioned earlier, winds will be mostly terrain driven, although the ridge tops may get a little gusty each afternoon. There's a concern uh, across north central Idaho on Thursday as Haines values increase. Haines uh, 6 is certainly possible in that area. That's, that's the orange coloring for Thursday there. The timing of the winds is still somewhat in question on Friday. At this point, the winds seem to be fairly late in the afternoon into the evening hours. So kind of keep up with us and we'll, we'll see where those lead going into the future. But right now it looks to be very late afternoon into Friday evening for those winds. So we had that ridge breakdown be, being of higher concern on Friday for pretty much all the area. And those winds continue on Saturday like we mentioned across western Montana. And so that, that uh, concern will likely continue fire weather. Uh, conditions will likely continue into Saturday for, for parts of uh, western Montana. And then as we, as we get into Sunday, it looks like quieter weather is on the way. We have those seasonable temperatures. It continues to be dry, 
but we don't really have much wind to speak of for Sunday. So thank you for listening. The next scheduled fire weather briefing will be on Thursday, uh, August 9th. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here anytime. Thanks again.